one time for the elect, two times for the elect, three times for the elect. All praise be to Yah. All beautiful praises be to Yah. All magnificent praises be to Yah. The Most High Yah. May His name be magnified forever. Baruch Haba Bashim Yahuwah. Bahashim Yahusha. Bahashim Ruach Hakudash. Let's talk about ego. Yes. Ego. To be honest, I think ego is one of the most deadliest phenomena that's actually within the human soul. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because with ego, it's all about I. Me. You know. Ego is what is what separates emotion from logic. You know. Scripture teaches that every man is right in his own eyes. Why does it say that? Every man is right in his own eyes. Scripture also teaches us that um uh, that that the heart is inherently wicked, deceitful. Who can know it? Who can know it? See, that's ego. It's ego. Pretty much the same the same thing that that uh, that Satan fell for. He fell he fell because of his ego. That's why Christ urged his Kodashim, his holy ones, his set apart ones. Holy means set apart. He urged them to, you know, be meek, be humble. Bear one another's burdens. Get rid of get, get rid of the I in the me. Forsake I, me, self, and change it to we, us. Bear each other's burdens. Like brothers in Christ should. All praise be to Yah. Now it's levels to that. It's levels to that. You know. Bearing each other's burdens doesn't mean be uh be vulnerable, be naive. Because a lot of our brothers and sisters are, are uh, naive and vulnerable because their hearts are in, are in the right place. But at the same time, you know, that, you know, uh, they're, they're not as wise as serpents. But because you have to be wise as serpents out here. But I don't mean to digress. Let's talk about ego. Getting rid of ego is learning how to accept the things that you cannot change. Yeah. All praise be to you. Accept the things that you cannot change. And also having the wisdom to know the difference. You know, awareness. Get, 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 getting rid of ego is being able to being able to how can I say this I want to say the right words I don't want to say the wrong words getting rid of ego is to not defend Yourself when, when somebody offends you. Nah, it's levels to that. Because I'm gonna defend myself regardless. You know what I'm saying? We all fall short in, in, in the glory of the Most High Yah, our Supreme Elohim. You know. But this is this is ego. 
e- ego ego is all about protecting for pr- protecting me myself hurting you for hurting me get it that's that's why Christ that, that that's that's why Christ had said I'll uh, turn the other cheek I mean but you know just fa- just facing the the reality of the situation I'm not Christ you know but I follow I follow my my Messiah's teachings and I do uh, my best abilities to uh, 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 to forgive my transgressors. What forgive my transgressors, you know? And I, you know, I, I forgive myself too because I didn't fail short, you know, uh, based off the ego, protecting myself, you know. But I, I kind of feel like I kind of feel like you know. Uh, the journey to self improvement is pretty much to to have desire to want to change, being like being like a moth to the flame. But instead of being a moth to the flame, you actually being a moth that's attracted to the flame of uh, of of change. Get it? Be the moth that that desires. To be engulfed in the flame of change and self improvement, and that, and that leads to the renewal of the mind. Get it? That's pretty much the, that's that's pretty, you know, that's the only way that we can change is if we want to change. And a lot of people, and a lot of people, you know, deep down want to change, but they're not strong enough to take accountability to to. Uh, to, to face themselves so they get frustrated themselves and quit and then once once they get frustrated with themselves and quit then you know instead of take take accountability they blame God which is also ego attack uh, attacking the creator just because just, just because you're not strong enough to to face face your own burdens and free yourself. Draw draw near to God and he and he'll draw near to you. But how can you draw near to God if you're not uh uh you know putting forth the effort to actually show show the most high God that you are worthy of change, worthy of salvation, worthy of the everlasting. And see that's where the tricky part is. See, a lot, a, a lot of people, a, a, a lot of people want 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 to look good, want their houses to look good on the outside, but on the inside, not willing to clean up. And when I mean household, I mean the state of mind. A man's household is his state of mind. Yeah, is his state of mind. Let's talk about ego. I'm still learning, you know. I'm still learning. I kind of feel like the death of the ego is actually the birth of the spirit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The death of ego is actually the birth of the spirit. Mm-hmm. See, life is not a race; it's a marathon. You get it? It was this guy. It was this guy had said, "Salvation are for those who who are healed," and it made per- it, it, it made perfect sense. Healed for, healed from tra- childhood trauma. Healed from. Relationship trauma, you know, it pretty much just healed from all trauma, you know. Healed because Christ, Christ was a healer. Christ healed the sick. That was his whole mission was to go for the sinner and heal the sinner.
why he was on earth. So when he shed his blood, he was able to heal the sinner and cleanse the sinner for, uh, 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 from their sins. Get it? It goes hand in hand. So I, I, I agreed with, with that brother wholeheartedly when he said that we need each other. I don't care what nobody say. We need each other. Because I like I'm not gonna lie. If I wouldn't have never heard heard him say that, I wouldn't have never even got put in that perception to look at how Im how important it is to actually heal from the things that happened to you in your past. It it, it put it put so much so much in, in in another in a deeper perspective for me. That's why I, I don't care what nobody say. You know what I'm saying? We need each other. And see, it, it, and that, and that is a form of death of ego. Let's talk about ego. <laughs> Put, putting away, putting away ego is willing to take correction. Mm -hmm. And in order to grow, you have to learn how to take correction. Let's talk about ego. Mm -hmm. A lot of people that that come in contact with the chosen, pretty much, pretty much everybody that come in contact with the chosen that actually don't like the chosen have a real 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 bad accountability problem that pretty much be the whole thing because the elect the elect force forces people to look within the be, just just being in in the 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 vicinity of the elect which is a blessing Being in in the vicinity of the elect naturally forces people to look within themselves because when they when they look at the elect they looking at Christ and and pretty much what y'all what y'all gotta understand and, and see I'm not trying I'm not trying to be boastful and I'm not trying to be uh, uh you know talking in pride or nothing like that but in our actuality you are the only Bible you 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 elect ones. You you Kodashim out there, you you pretty much gonna be the only Bible that that a lot of these people will ever read. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because when they see you, they see Christ. Or a, or an example of Christ. And you don't even know, you don't even know how powerful you are. You don't even know you, you you like seriously. You don't even know what you look like to 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 other people that's outside of yourself. You see you see yourself every day. To you, you just look like a normal person. I mean, you pretty much are a normal person, but but with what's within you is a supernatural phenomenon that 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 no one can explain but the Kodashim. And it's called the Holy Spirit. The salt, see, see you the salt of the earth. The light of the world. The light is a frequency. It's an energy. It's, it, it, it's being able, the light is being able to, uh, to, to set forth an example of what it, what it really is like being an authentic person in a, in a fake deceptive world. Mm. Let's talk about ego. Chosen ones, you are a threat to the world's ego. Because when they see you, you automatically threaten their ego. You shatter their ego just by being you. You don't even try to see to you, you just being an authentic person. To you, you just on the on the road to recovery, uh uh uh, uh self-development, empowerment, spiritual empowerment, you know. And 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 
in your mind and your heart and your soul you want you want to help other people ascend to the next level of being but that's see that's your perception that's your perception but but when people but when when people come around you that's um you know that 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 thrives off ego these narcissistic skinwalkers these organic portals because that's all that's all uh, all human beings are that that's all we are we're vehicles we're organic portals it just depends it just depends on 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 on, on our minds and our spirits and our soul what organic frequency we allow to operate our vehicles angelic or demonic holy or darkness light and dark evil good get it let's talk about the ego Man, I had a, I had bought, I had got a, a 2008 Dodge Charger, nice Dodge Charger too, nice, uh, navy blue, um, it had kicker twelve speakers in there, you know, it was a nice interior, you know, it was like pretty much one, one of the, uh, the cleanest cars I got, uh, and I, I, pre, I pretty much put it on a pedestal. I put that car on, on a pedestal. See, I see, see. I made that car my idol because, because when I got it, it was all about look at me, look at what I accomplished, look at me, look at what I did. <laughs> no, I ain't have that that long. See, that was the ego. That was a product of the, of the ego. Because I'm, I'm worried about, I'm worried about what I did. You know what I'm saying? It, and and how I look at it. And I and I forgot and I forgot who provided for me so I can handle my business. The most high God provided for me so I can handle my business, so I can get to point A and point B, so I can get to work, so I can do what I need to do as a man. But at the same time, I forgot all about that 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 aspect, you know what I'm saying, that that perception and developed a a, a perception of pride in the ego. Like look at me. I'm clean, ain't it? Yeah. I'm the I'm I'm the sh out here. Yeah. See that's the ego. See that's see that's the difference between operating in the flesh and operating in the spirit. Because if I would if I would have got that car and operated in the spirit, nine times out of ten I would still have it today. Let's talk about the ego. Mm. Mm. The death of the ego is, is the birth of the spirit. Straight up. One time for the elect. Two times for the elect. Three times for the elect. All oh, praise BTI. All oh, beautiful praises BTI. All oh, magnificent praises BTI. The most high, yeah. May his name be magnified forever. Shalom.